Mario, you can't nap just yet. You can rest soon, man. I promise. Hello, Internet. Welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we finished up collecting every single Shine Sprite aside from the final one. We're at 119. That number sucks. Let's make it 120. Starting in Corona Mountain. So since we already got all the blue coins here, we've done the bulk of this level already, as in we've seen this entire beginning section and, um, I mean the blue coins aren't a challenge anymore. The challenge now is going to come entirely from the actual mud boat section leading up to where the blue coins are, which, you know, adding to the theme in recent episodes of me not finding things that are generally considered hard to be that hard. I don't think the mud boat is that challenging. <laughs> it's because I grew up with this game and have done that section a lot, but like, I don't know. I think this is a very underwhelming final level. It's difficult on first playthrough, uh, but that doesn't make it good. It doesn't have any like elements of things we've learned throughout the game. It doesn't have to use any of the nozzles behind, besides the hover nozzle and the rocket nozzle. I feel like they could have found a way to include the turbo nozzle here, and Yoshi even. I don't know. I feel like 64's final level is really good, and then Galaxy's final level is really good, and Galaxy 2's is really good, and it retroactively and uh, proactively, in the case of 64, makes Corona Mountain a significantly worse final level, because it just doesn't use anything you've learned up to this point. The only opportunity you have to use a mud boat before this is in Noki Pei, and it's not required for anything. And in fact, you have to go out of your way to use it in order to get places that you can more easily get without it. Anyway, now that that rant's over, uh, <laughs> we made it. There's our rocket nozzle, and our challenge now is just to climb our way out of the volcano. We're heading all the way to the top. I, I think it's a little weird that there isn't lava in this volcano. It is explicit fact that the water that kills you when you touch it is not lava. That's literally just, like, water with goop in it. Also, oh, it's up slightly. I couldn't tell why I wasn't getting that one up, but it's because it's slightly raised up. Uh, this section can be a little tricky, especially if you go for that one up. You're not really in danger going for that one-up unless you, like, take a dive, which you should never do in Corona Mountain. But, I don't know. This section is less difficult and more just time your jumps because these clouds suck. Speaking of not taking a dive in here, I think I would have made it if I didn't dive there. That's good. Go. Jump onto this cloud. Barely failed to make it. Okay, and why do I keep diving? I literally gave the advice not to dive myself. Oh my god. I am doing so badly. Like, you can refill on water just by recollecting the rocket nozzle. Um, but if you run out of water getting to the top, that's embarrassing. And I'm hoping to god that doesn't happen to me. I- oh no. <sighs> Tragic. Okay. Well, in return, let's do it first try this time. Time this correctly. Get onto this cloud. That was actually really close. Uh, and then rock it up here. Okay, well, I wasn't serious about first trying it the second attempt, but I did. <laughs> the water's great, hey, Junior? Sure is, Papa. Come on in, Mama Peach. Uh, I think not. Mario! You again? Don't you ever give up? Mario! How dare you disturb my family vacation? <laughs> Bowser, and Bowser Jr., and a PNG of Princess Peach. 
Uh, so this fight kind of sucks. Why are they in a bathtub? <laughs> uh, also, why does Bowser speak? <laughs> I'm fine personally with Bowser speaking English. I think it's funny and, like, the voice actor is talented, don't get me wrong. I don't think he should speak. Like, it would have been better if he hadn't. But I'm fine with the fact that he does. We have some new enemies in this boss fight, a blue bullet bill and a new sort of homing bullet bill, which the blue bullet bill is also a homing bullet bill. Uh, Bowser can destroy them with his fire breath, he can also destroy you with his fire breath. I'm just going in the wrong direction from what the boss fight is trying to tell me. If you destroy a blue bullet bill, it will give you a one-up, which, good to know. Bowser will occasionally ground pound himself to tilt the entire bathtub and cause water to fall out at you. I'm probably gonna die here. I'm really inconsistent at this boss fight. Sometimes I'll do it in one try, sometimes it'll take me a couple attempts. But if it does take me a couple attempts, uh, that's embarrassing. Also, he's ground pounding way more than I've ever seen him do it before. Uh, we do need to get pretty significant height to be able to actually break this thing, so yeah. We can see Flood is not doing too hot, but I'm sure he'll be fine. Uh, he reappears in Smash Bros. Brawl, and characters who look like him appear in Mario Galaxy, so... There we go. I've got something difficult to tell you about Princess Peach. I know, she's not really my mama. Someday, when I'm bigger... I wanna fight that Mario again. That's my boy. Well put, son. The Royal Koopaline is as strong as ever. But for now, let's just rest a while. The vacation starts now. And nobody was ever actually worried. Rest in peace, Satoru Iwata. Super Mario Sunshine is a game that I grew up with. It's a game I love dearly to this day, and I will admit, while I had some struggles with my motivation, and that's pretty much it, my, just my motivation during the creation of this Let's Play, ultimately, it has been such a blast to show this game that I love. And thank you for coming along on this journey with me and enjoying this as much as you have. Super Mario Sunshine means a lot to me. I can't even guarantee this will be the last time I ever Let's Play it. I love it so much. Uh, yeah. We 100% completed it, and I'm happy with that. 
So few voice actors in this game. I... Yeah, I don't know. It's a game with a beautiful world, a beautiful mechanics, a beautiful speedrun, which, again, watch it if you haven't before. Literally, I cannot say a bad word about this game other than, you know, all the bad words I did say about it, including the F word, but... Hey. You know? <laughs> it happens. If you've never given this game a fair chance, I highly recommend it. Even if it's just the levels that are not bullshit, I recommend it. It's a great experience. Make sure to take a screenshot! Because that is your completion bonus! A postcard that isn't even in the correct resolution! <laughs> you will only see that if you have collected all 120 shine sprites. And if you did not, you'll see this strange picture of Il Piantissimo staring at Bowser Jr.'s paintbrush. Implying that he's going to take up the mantle? Who knows? But yes, I do want to save. Upon beating Bowser and Bowser Jr., we now have all 120 Shine Sprites. There's nothing more for us to do, and yet, they weren't totally mean. There is one more completion bonus. Quick correction, this one is not a completion bonus, you get this just for beating Bowser and Bowser Jr. regardless of how many Shine Sprites you got. <laughs> hey, Sunshades alone just won't cut it for you, nope! You also need one of my custom tropical shirts. Here you go. My, oh my. I haven't seen anyone look that good in my gear in ages. Come see me again when you want to return them, okay? Just... Wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly cool with this. I think this is a phenomenal completion bonus, even if it is absolutely not worth it to 100% this game. At least they bother giving you a little more than just a postcard, I guess. But with all that done... In fact... Yeah, with all that done, we're done with the game now. We... Don't have much else to talk about here. I'm gonna be completely honest. I went into this expecting to want to make a bonus video. But... Honestly, I'm happy with what I've shown in this LP. I think that Super Mario Sunshine has a lot of interesting material for beta pre-release stuff, uh, stuff left over in the game's files, but it's all stuff that everybody and their mom on this platform have already made videos about, including myself in the past, and as cool as I think it is, if I can't really tread new ground with it, I don't think there's much reason for me to make a bonus video. On top of that, I've already talked about a lot of the glitches and beta stuff related to the levels in this game, and... Yeah, I'm pretty confident leaving it at this episode. With all that done, it's time for a hint about the next Let's Play. And I'm gonna be real, look, I'm not trying to hide it. I've been pretty liberal with giving early hints about the next Let's Play, so I'm just gonna say your hint is that it's in a series that has been played on the channel already since the reboot, meaning after Kirby Superstar Ultra. I'll see you guys here later for a new Let's Play. <laughs> <laughs>